The Columbia River is a special place for the people and the fish and wildlife that call the Pacific Northwest home. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife works with our co-managers to manage Columbia River fisheries in a way that protects fish stocks and ecosystems and provides sustainable fishing opportunity. In this video series, we'll focus on how we manage non-treaty commercial and recreational fisheries within the broader context of the river system and other local and regional fisheries. These videos are intended to provide insight into the complexity of managing fisheries in the Columbia River and the science-based processes we use to ensure we're meeting our management objectives. The department and our co-managers have a solid track record of sustainably managing these resources for the benefit of current and future generations. Columbia River is the largest river system in the Pacific Northwest, stretching over 1,200 miles and draining more water to the Pacific Ocean than any other river in North or South America. The Columbia River Basin, which includes all the tributary rivers that drain into the Columbia River, covers over 250,000 square miles and includes parts of seven U.S. states as well as Canada. The Columbia River is a socially, ecologically, and economically important water body and a highly developed river system. There are hundreds of hydroelectric dams in the basin that produce a large percentage of electricity generated in the Pacific Northwest and provide flood control and recreational opportunities. The main stem Columbia River is also a critical shipping route, providing access to inland ports. The river provides important habitat to a range of fish and wildlife species, supports commercial, recreational, and tribal fisheries, and provides drinking water and water for irrigating farmland. The Columbia River Basin and the natural resources it supports have deep cultural, spiritual, and economic importance to tribal communities since time immemorial. The Columbia River and its tributaries are home to more than a dozen salmon and steelhead stocks. Many are listed under the Endangered Species Act and continued efforts are needed to ensure their recovery. Salmon recovery is a complex and long-term challenge, one that will require efforts on many fronts, including improving habitat and fish passage and carefully managing fisheries and water flows. While we'll discuss the broader topic of salmon recovery in a subsequent video, salmon conservation and recovery is a core consideration in how we manage Columbia River fisheries. The department, along with our code managers, are responsible for managing numerous non-treaty fisheries in the Columbia River. Every year, we offer about a dozen recreational fisheries and seven to nine commercial fisheries. Commercial fisheries occur in the main stem Columbia River below Bonneville Dam. Recreational fisheries occur throughout the Columbia River and its major tributaries. Recreational fisheries are also offered in several smaller tributaries, but those are managed separately by staff in the corresponding regional office. Depending on the season, fisheries may target salmon, steelhead, sturgeon, smelt, and shad. Fisheries for salmon and steelhead primarily target fish produced through hatchery programs. Columbia River fisheries are distinguished by fishing sector, the fish stock being targeted, where and when fishing occurs, and the type of gear being used. Given the nature of the river and the stocks being targeted, these fisheries often overlap in time and space. For example, during the spring, there are three recreational fisheries for Spring Chinook using hook and line gear, one above Bonneville Dam, one below Bonneville Dam, and one in the Snake River Basin. There is also a recreational fishery for smelt in the spring using dip net gear. For the commercial sector, the primary spring fishery targets Spring Chinook using gill net gear in specific off-channel locations known as Select Area Fishery Enhancement Areas, or SAFE areas. Some years, we're also able to offer a commercial fishery for Spring Chinook in the main stem Columbia River using tangle net gear. There are also recreational and commercial fisheries for shad in the spring. Recreational fisheries can occur throughout the main stem Columbia River using hook and line gear, but timing can differ above and below Bonneville Dam. The commercial fishery is concentrated in Zone 5, below Bonneville Dam, and uses small mesh gillnet gear. As you can see, 
The department is managing a number of different fisheries each season. This involves balancing different objectives, sharing limited fishery resources, and coordinating management across the Columbia River Basin. Since the end of the last ice age, Columbia River fisheries have been making important contributions to Washington State and to the people who call the Pacific Northwest home. Communities along the Columbia River have deep ties to fisheries and fishery resources, particularly salmon and steelhead. For thousands of years, tribal communities have lived in the Columbia River Basin. They continue to depend on salmon as a foundation of their cultures and their economies. Long before European settlement, Celilo Falls and Kettle Falls were key trade centers for native communities, with fisheries serving as an economic engine for regional trade. The long history of non-tribal commercial and recreational fishing on the Columbia River began with the arrival of the first European settlers. Fishing is embedded in the culture and identity of many Columbia River communities and is a tradition and a way of life that has been passed down from generation to generation. Commercial and recreational fisheries also provide the public with access to Columbia River resources. Commercial fisheries make it possible for residents of the Northwest to enjoy fresh, local, and affordable Columbia River seafood. Our local fisheries also provide a link to other Washington and Alaska fisheries, which expands our access to regional seafood. The Columbia River offers some of the best recreational salmon and steelhead fishing in the region. Even with the complicated regulations which are necessary to balance the popularity of these fisheries with the sustainability of the resource, these fisheries supported over 400,000 recreational fishing trips throughout the region just in the year 2023. Commercial and recreational fisheries play an important role in the economy of Columbia River communities, providing jobs and supporting a host of businesses all the way up the supply chain. Commercial catch flows to a number of seafood-related businesses, including fish buyers, processors, and dealers. And from there to fish markets, grocery stores, and restaurants as it makes its way to our dinner plates. Commercial fisheries on the Columbia River also rely on and support a host of shoreside businesses, including boat builders, mechanics, and marine suppliers. Recreational fisheries rely on and support many of these same businesses, as well as specific businesses like bait and tackle shops and fishing guides. The anglers who travel to the region support local hotels, restaurants, and retailers, and contribute to the regional tourism economy. Columbia River fisheries are an important part of the business portfolio for commercial fishers and recreational guides. Many Columbia River fishers participate in other Alaska and West Coast fisheries and bring that income back home where it supports the local economy. The availability of diverse fishing opportunities supports the resilience of our fishing communities. Because there is so much variability in each fishery, fishers can stabilize and buffer their income by participating in more than one. Recreational fishing guides often also have a portfolio approach to their businesses, participating in different fisheries in different parts of the state throughout the year. For many of the fishing guides of Washington State, Columbia River fisheries are an important part of their portfolio, allowing them to run their businesses year-round. The Columbia River is a complex system that supports many different uses and is socially, economically, and ecologically important to the region. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife manages Columbia River fisheries and fishery resources within this broader context and works with our co-managers to promote the health of the river's fish, wildlife, and ecosystems and provide sustainable fishing opportunities. In future videos, we'll focus on the management framework for non-treaty commercial and recreational fisheries and the science, tools, and strategies we use to navigate complexity and balance multiple objectives.